When considering body contouring, liposuction is always a great tool to help improve contour. There are a, a few different types of liposuction out there. The type that we're talking about today is ultrasonic liposuction. With typical liposuction, what we do is first infuse some fluid that contains lidocaine and epinephrine and saline that helps to cut down on the bleeding and bruising and swelling, and then we vacuum away the extra fatty tissue with the, the suction probe. That's called tumescent liposuction. With the ultrasonic liposuction, we add an additional step into that process, where after the tumescent fluid goes in, we utilize a probe that has, on the tip of it, it sends out ultrasonic rays that actually melt the fatty tissue and then we vacuum it up and take it away with the regular tumescent method. Um, that has its good side and its bad side. It can be thorough with taking away fatty tissue and it works well with fibrous fatty tissue, but that melted fat in the tissue can cause irritation and if it's not fully vacuumed away, you can get problems with prolonged swelling, like twice the amount of time it typically takes to go down, or it can cause pockets of fluid that don't go away very easily and end up distorting our results. So we have to use it judiciously. Also, there's a safety issue with it. Adding in that ultrasonic power, you can actually cause burns to the skin and you know, that can cause permanent scarring. So again, we just don't use it in every case. What we found is there are specific cases it's better for. There are cases where the tissue is particularly fibrous, like in male gynecomastia or breast enlargement. That glandular tissue can sometimes be broken down better with that ultrasound. The other situation is in areas of extensive fibrousness of the fat, such as where you've had liposuction repeatedly before, there's a lot of scar tissue. So that liposuction can kind of blow through that scar and allow it to be recontoured easier. The main takeaway point from this is think hard about which tool that we use for which problem. We'd want to use something that's going to be effective with the least risk.